In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to transfer ownership of a Google Doc. So, if you've created a Google Doc in your Google account, you will be the owner of it. And you could share it with other people if you want, but you will still be the actual owner of it. But if you want to change that, you can actually transfer the ownership to someone else, or maybe just a different account you own, and then they will be the owner of it, and it will just be shared with you. And in this video, that's exactly what Timmy's going to show you how to do. Before you can transfer the Google Doc to anyone, you will have to share it with that other account. So if you haven't shared it with them already, you just need to come in here to your Google Doc and click on the share button to share it and type in the address of the person or account you want to share it with. So it'll probably be a Gmail address, but it could actually just be any other email address as long as it's the email address associated with that account. But in this case, it is a Gmail address. And you can leave it set to editor, that will be fine. And just go ahead and click send. And now the document will be shared with that account, but you will still be the owner of it. And to transfer the ownership to that other account, you'll actually need to go back and click on the share button again because the share box disappeared. So go up here and click on share again. And now under people with access, you should see you and you will be listed as the owner. And below that will be the person we just shared it with. And as you can see here, they are listed as the editor. So if you want to change that and make them the owner, you need to click on this drop down menu here and now, in this menu that appears, there will be a transfer ownership option. The transfer ownership option doesn't actually appear when you first share it with them, so you have to actually share it with them as an editor first, and then come back into this screen here, and now you'll be able to click transfer ownership. And now you get this pop-up message here, asking you if you're sure you want to proceed, and send an invitation to this person for them to become the owner. And it is worth it keeping in mind that you can't undo this. So once they accept the invitation to become the owner, you will not be able to undo it. They will be the owner and they could even remove you if they wanted to so that you would no longer have access to the document at all. But if you're sure you want to go ahead and do this, all you need to do is click send invitation. And now they will get an email inviting them to become the owner. So as you can see here, it says pending owner under their name. And now you really just need to wait for them to go and check their emails and find the email from Google Docs that they will have just received and follow the prompts in that email to accept ownership of the document. And then they will now be the owner of the document, not you. So if we click done here to close this window and then we click share again to bring it up, but have it refreshed. As you can see, Bob is now the owner of the document and you are just the editor. So now if he wanted to, Bob could actually go and remove tech time with Timmy so he could come into the document in his account and click on editor here and click remove access or change Timmy down to just a viewer, not an editor, so that Timmy can still view the document but no longer edit it. But whatever Bob wants to do now, he is now the owner of the document. And the document will now be taking up space in Bob's Google Drive, not Timmy's. So. When you transfer ownership to someone else, it's taking up space in their Google Drive because it's now theirs. And if you no longer wanted access to the document, so you've now transferred it to Bob and you don't really ever want to see it again, you could actually come in here to this sharing menu and click here and remove access. So you could actually come in here and remove yourself if you wanted to, but that's all there is to it. That's how you can transfer ownership of a Google Doc to someone else. 
And it actually works just the same in Google Sheets and Google Slides. So if you wanted to transfer ownership of a Google Sheet or Google Slides presentation, you could do the same thing. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and Tim, we'll see you in the next one.